there was Captain Kelly. <sighs> My friends are out getting treasure! And I'm here on a brand new island out in the middle of nowhere! By the way, that's the fun thing about being a pirate. We get to see so many crazy fun places. Today, we are in a park and my mom and dad are sitting over there. When I told them my friends and I were playing pirates, they said they wanted me to meet a friend of theirs. I wonder who it could be! Is that who I think it is? Ahoy there! It's me, your Uncle Dad. I knew it! It's my Uncle Dan! Hi, Uncle Dan! <laughs> I met Captain Dan! I'm so happy my parents brought my uncle to see me! So what are you up to today, Captain Dan? Today, Captain Callie, we're hunting for some gold doubloons! Doubloons, Captain Dan? That means gold, right? I think that's all I might know, though! You have to know how to talk like a pirate if you want to sail the golden seas. I'll help you practice. Here we go. There I was aboard me ship. Cali. Me hearties were singing a chanty. The wind was blowing really strong. The storm was getting worse. We had to abandon ship. Then we swam into the briny deep to this island. Captain Dan, this is a lot of pirate words. I have to think about it and get some help from my friends. Maybe I can listen to today's Bible story first. It's time for today's Bible story. Our story today comes from the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms is the longest book in the Bible. And just like the book of Proverbs, it's not a story at all. It's more like a song book or a book full of poems. Today's poem is Psalms 19, and it's all about words. But guess what? Some of the words that the songwriter writes about are silent, but loud. How could that be? Well, think about the night sky. Have you ever been out of the city where you see so many stars shining bright across the sky? It doesn't make a sound, but it's definitely saying something big. How about the sun? When a beautiful sunrise or sunset stretches across the horizon, it doesn't say a word, but it's saying something big. But these things are silent. But they talk to us about God. Then the songwriter writes or sings about the very words of God and how they are perfect in every way. God's words lead us, guides us, and keeps us safe when we listen. And the way nature talks without words and the way God speaks to us should remind us that words are very powerful. The things we say have the power to cheer someone up or make them really, really upset. Words have power, so be careful with the ones that you choose. And remember the lesson from Psalms 19. I can be wise by choosing my words carefully. Wow, I never thought about it that way. Words are powerful, so we should choose them carefully. Hmm, that reminds me. Friends, do you think you can help me figure out the words in my uncle's story? Chanty! Hearties! Rhyme deep! Abandoned ship! Captain Dan said him and his hearties were singing a chanty. Singing a chanty? I know hearties means friends, so chanty has to mean... Yes, that makes sense. His friends and him were singing a song. Yay! Now, abandoned ship. Captain Dan said he had called out to an abandoned ship. What does that mean? Does it mean to build a ship, hide a ship, jump out of a ship? Yes! That makes so much sense. 
much sense. Jumping out of a ship is abandoned ship. Duh! We are getting so good at this. Now, one more. Rhyme deep. My uncle, I mean Captain Dan, said they swam into the briny deep to this land. I'm going to need your help on this one. Does briny deep mean apple juice, a mountain, or the ocean? Yes! Oh my, yes, we did it! You did it, Callie! Yes, you are. I'm gonna run and talk to your parents for a bit. Arr! Today was so much fun. I had no idea words could be so complicated and so important. I can be wise by choosing my words carefully. I will always pay attention to what I say from now on and how I say it. Well, gotta run, friends. Thanks for tuning in and growing with me.